Hi learners, welcome to my channel Data Science University with MLB Prasad. The agenda for today's video is Project 2 Lead Code, Question Type Easy, Question Number 1082 Sales Analysis 1. The GitHub link for the solution is provided in the description below. You can join my Telegram and LinkedIn page community for further updates and discussion. Scan here to join the communities. The links are also provided in the video description. Now, let's solve together the problem which we want to solve. They have given a table product consisting of product ID and what is the name of that product and how much is the unit price. Okay. Similarly, there have been some sales. Who is the seller and the seller sold which product which is available in the products table and who brought it, the buyer ID, on which date it was sold, the number of quantity it was sold and the price where it has been sold. Okay. Now, what is the question? Write a solution that reports the best seller by total sales price. If there is a tie, report them all. Let me copy it here. Let me read the question once again for you. They want the seller, the seller ID, such that he should be selling the highest sales price, means the sum of everything which is sold, the quantity into price, whichever he has sold, it should be the highest, right? Okay, report by total sales price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me come here. So we can see there are specifically three seller IDs first one second one and a third one okay now what is the total amount he has sold Where is this yeah price column they don't care about the quantity they just want the price of the things so how much is the amount you can see here 2000 plus 800 similarly for second person 800 third person 2800 okay it means one has been sold 2800 two sold 800 three sold 2800 so now among them who sold the highest number of price the total price 2800 2800 so this is the maximum price so how many rows are there where it is equal to maximum this is also equal to maximum this is also equal to maximum so what are the seller ids which are having the maximum one and three so that is the output we got it so we don't care about the product tables we don't care what is the product name unit price etc etc it's not required so what you need to do here step one group by the seller id column and calculate the sum of quantity column okay what is the step two we need to take the max value take max value what is the step three we need to filter for max value in the total sum of quantity column filter this max value what is the step four we don't require all the columns we require only the select column so select only the seller id column okay so let us do this everything step by step in code okay let us say df is equal to sales table dot group by seller id price dot sum return df okay 
okay it is giving me only the sum but i want both the things right let me do one thing let me make it as a series which will throw an error because the output should be a data frame and let me do the reset index now it will be giving me the seller id and also the price so now we have grouped by the each salary and we got the price done now what else i required i required the maximum amount so step two the maximum value is df price column price column dot sum sorry max this will be giving me the max value now i need to filter for this max value in step 3 so df is equal to df where df of price value the price column value is equal to the max move price or let me call it as mx okay now this will give me only the rows uh, df okay it's python right we require double equal to so it should be mx so we have the column switching mode but i don't require everything i require only seller id i want to return a data frame so let me make it a data frame yeah sample test case was successfully accepted let me check for all the test cases okay thankfully our code solution has successfully passed all the test cases and we have solved the problem if you want the code output for the thing which you have solved it will be available in this github repository the link will be provided in the description below and if you are further interested in learning data science data analytics machine learning nlp cv and generative ai stuff please fill in the google form below my team will be contacting you soon and if you are preparing for data science interview Please check the following playlist, it will be greatly helping your interview rounds. For further questions or doubts regarding the question which I have solved, use the hashtag AskAmaliPrasad in the comment section. I will try to answer your queries. Okay, until then, keep learning, guys.